what we saw here, in my opinion, and many others' opinion, is the forming of a brand new bloodline. We are getting Bloodline 2.0. Bloodline Wolfpack, some have called it. Like, we are getting a whole new branch of the bloodline. And the crazy part is that all of these lot are still bloodline. They are still family one way or the other. In a terrific segment on this past week's Smackdown, we saw Solo Sokoa rise to the occasion and in the absence of his tribal chief Roman Reigns, or at least that's what we think, Solo Sokoa took the reins on as to what has been left behind following obviously the big losses at WrestleMania from Jimmy Uso and from Roman Reigns. Solo Sokoa told Paul Heyman, almost in like saying back to Paul Heyman, what Paul Heyman said to him, wins and losses matter, losses should be punished. And in a really sinister way, he approached Jimmy Uso and Jimmy Uso was pretty much saying to him, bro, you can't be talking about me here. You cannot be getting on to me about losing. Solo basically told him, I love you, don't worry about it and all that kind of stuff. Only to turn his back and we saw Tama Tonga come through with the black hoodie. Of course, Solo is supplying his brothers with the black hoodie. He comes through. He absolutely nails Jimmy Uso. Tamatonga, that is. And they proceed to beat down Jimmy Uso. Solo Sokoa proceeds to give Jimmy Uso a whole host of Samoan spikes. Yeah. Like, absolutely smashing this guy's throat with his thumb. Which, when you say it like that, doesn't sound so violent. But exactly what he was doing smashing his throat with his thumb and you see Paul Heyman in the corner like what is going on here who ordered this and I believe in the ring they said this is by orders of the tribal chief you see a backstage segment later on in the night where Tamatonga approaches Paul Heyman that's coming out from like a locker room area and again kind of reminds him we were doing this as orders from the tribal chief. Now, it's great to see Tamatonga firstly on WWE. He has been someone that they have been after for a very, very long time. And Tamatonga obviously recently, earlier this year, walked away from New Japan after being there for absolute yonks. It's just saying he wants to come back to the States where his family are and stuff like that. Um, it's about time. And what we saw here, in my opinion, and many others' opinion, is the forming of a brand new bloodline. We are getting Bloodline 2.0. Bloodline Wolfpack, some have called it. Like, we are getting a whole new branch of the bloodline. And the crazy part is that all of these lot are still bloodline. They are still family one way or the other. I saw reports, as I record this, of Hikaleo still being someone that WWE are looking at. Hikaleo, if I'm correct, is the brother of Tamatonga. They are still looking to bring in more people here. And of course, we know that Jacob Fatu, at the very least, has kind of started confirming to people he has signed for WWE. So Jacob Fatu... Tamatonga, you know, Hikaleo might be soon coming. I don't know his contract situation. We know Tangaloa, who was once in WWE, could quite possibly come back. They've got so much more to tell of this bloodline story and so many legs and so many people they can still involve. But, you know, Tamatonga appeared. They told us very, very, you know, straight up, like, Tamatonga, the son of Haku, the son of Haku, letting us know immediately this guy is bloodline too. Now, the tribal chief comment by orders of the tribal chief. Who is the tribal chief now? Because after SmackDown, Solo was carrying himself like the new tribal chief. The very kind of sinister stuff you would see Roman Reigns do. Hug, embrace his family, tell them everything's all right. Tell them, I love you. I'm doing this for you and all that kind of stuff. That was very early Tribal Chief, if you guys remember. It's particularly between Roman Reigns and Jey Uso. And then, all of a sudden, he turns on him. He does something crazy. He can't control himself. Is Solo Sokoa the new Tribal Chief? Which, 
to be honest, this segment, this was the best we've seen of Solo, in my opinion, for a very long time. Ever since he beat John Cena at Crown Jewel last year, he's been just the guy that's taking pins and stuff like that. Not been great at all. Don't think he's won a match since then. But this was the most dominant and just putting himself across as a big deal. Almost like how we were introduced to Solo. It's been a long time since we've seen like this iteration of Solo. But is Solo the tribal chief? Or are these guys, Solo Sokoa, Tamatonga, acting on behalf of a new tribal chief, another tribal chief, a Dwayne Johnson tribal chief is what I'm trying to get at. Like, is The Rock the new tribal chief? And this is the splinter group of the bloodline, another bloodline, like I said earlier. It's very interesting to see as of Monday Night Raw last week, when we saw The Rock approach Cody Rhodes, there was no mention of Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns has lost. Cody has the title. Cool. The Rock came out and The Rock said, yeah, that's all that happened. You got the win. You got the best of us, etc., etc." But then The Rock entered the fray, you know, saying that, you know, I want to see your title. I want to hold your title. Ooh, the title looks good on me. Um, I would love to hold this title and all this kind of stuff. And basically, you know, creating a, a feud with Cody Rhodes without knowing when it's going to be. And obviously we know the, the Rock is stepping away for a minute now. Like, this could be The Rock throwing his name into the hat as the new tribal chief or just as the final boss, the leader of, a, you know, the whole, like I say, Bloodline spinoff. And he has Solo as his right-hand man. Tama Tonga, you know, who is now arrived. Jacob Fatu, which sounds like he will be on TV and involved fairly soon. This could be Bloodline 2.0 under the tutelage, the guidance, the, the, these are the employees of the final boss, if you like. And then what does that make of the original Bloodline? Obviously, Roman's off TV now. He's in a process of rebuilding himself. Jimmy Uso, who probably got kicked out of the bloodline with that beatdown that we saw. Jay Uso, who is, you know, he's got a world championship match against Damian Priest, but let's be honest, he's not going to beat Damian Priest, I don't think. So where does it leave these guys? A lot of people, again, we've talked about Jimmy and Jay reigniting their, their love for each other as brothers as a tag team coming back together, maybe joining Roman Reigns and they all rekindle and this is like the good guy bloodline now. And then we bring in one more person, the honorary Oos, Sami Zayn, to fight this battle. Four on four, you know, kind of traditional bloodline, Roman, Usos, Sami Zayn, against this new shape bloodline, The Rock, Jacob Fatu, Tamatonga, and Solo Sikoa. I mean, it sounds fun to me. Of course, as well, people will start predicting war games. That is, you know, all the way down in November. will come around very soon. Personally, I can't see The Rock in a war games match. I just I just think with him, his schedule, this, that, and the other, there might be a lot that could go wrong if, him, if he's in such a, like, violent match, if you see what I mean. Um, but... Who knows, he's been very dedicated so far, so you, you could see him in there. And, of course, WWE violence isn't, like, really, really violent. So, it's possible, but I can't see it at this at this juncture. But what we are building to here is a new tribal chief, whether it be Solo or The Rock. I think we are getting, you know, this, this two bloodlines, if you like, a bloodline civil war. We're getting The Rock versus Cody Rhodes. And of course, the entire Bloodline Civil War and two Bloodlines and stuff will eventually lead to a Roman Reigns versus The Rock, probably at a WrestleMania. Because that match is too big now to happen anywhere else. Let's call a spade a spade. So, yeah, there's a lot happening here. A lot of good, good stuff. Solo Sokoa, the new tribal chief. Not while the final boss is around, I would think.